Live look at Kilauea. The USGS says summit inflation continues. Episode 36 of the eruption is likely to happen between November 2nd and the 10th. Now reports of tephra and reticulate raining down in areas just downwind Halima'uma'u crater came in over the weekend. This after record setting lava fountain heights were observed during episode 35 of the Kilauea eruption. Meteorologist Drew Davis spoke with those that experienced it and joins us with more. Mark, Drew. And, Mark and Ash, it's not every day you see reticulite and tephra the size of a watermelon raining down on your truck. That's exactly what happened to Hawaii Island resident Don Herzler and it's what he experienced over the weekend when driving home from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. This is the view from Don's truck. He described it as driving through a hailstorm of tephra, reticulite, Pele's hair, and volcanic sand. That reticulite is right here, size of my head, and uh, as sizable as that looks, uh, it weighs eight tenths of one ounce. This stuff started raining down on me, and I mean, I, I, I've never seen anything like it. It was coming down the size of watermelons, hitting my brand new uh, Ford Ranger, which I was very upset about. Tephra is a very broad term that we use for any rock fragment formed during an explosive eruption. But reticulite is very special. It's the lightest kind of tephra. It's more than 90 percent of empty space. To form reticulite, we need very tall lava fountains where the magma is ejected very rapidly and this leads to rapid decompression, intense bubble formation and fast cooling that preserves the delicate foam-like texture. And with reticulite being so light, you can travel tens of miles downwind from the crater, leading to tephra showers like this one. A unique type of weather for sure. Oh, and don't worry, Don said that he would return the reticulite fragment to the National Park the next time he visits. Let's keep it still focused on the volcano. I want to give you a quick look at our first alert VOG forecast out there as we're going forward. You can see we are going to be seeing breezy trades in the forecast. The VOG is going to be staying off to the west and southwest of Hawaii Island, still really impacting the Kona coast of Hawaii Island out there. So we could be seeing higher VOG um, amounts over near South Point, Kailua Kona, all the way up to towards Waikoloa, not really along the windward side of the island out there. Maui County, Oahu, and Kauai are relatively in the clear over the next few days. Over the next three days, we're going to be seeing somewhat wet trade winds on Wednesday. The best chance for showers will be over windward areas in the overnight to early morning. And then as we're heading into the weekend, we're expecting pretty gusty conditions out there. I'll give you a full breakdown of that and my full forecast coming up.